Yo, those are some big news. Cross-faction is coming to World of Warcraft. We're getting cross-faction instances. Holy shit, this will change a lot, guys. So, what is Ian saying here? For years now, many players have questioned whether the rules restricting communication and cooperation between Alliance and Horde need to be so absolute. The faction divide could keep close friends from playing together or cause players to feel that they are Faction leaves them with far fewer opportunities to pursue their favorite group content. But these downsides have long been justified in order to preserve a central element of the Warcraft universe. It all began with a game titled Warcraft Orcs and Humans, right? But to quote a one-time war chief of the Horde, times change. And that's true, like if we look at the lore and the story so far, we saw like a couple of times, times Horde and Alliance working together, right? And yeah, this really divides friends from playing together. What's like worse is like a lot of people are actually faction uh, changing and stuff. So I I've seen like a whole guilds transfer like faction and, and, and they have to like uh, buy a faction change token, right? So to do that, like they need to spend real money and some of the guild members didn't want to spend any money on that and they were like literally left behind. Like there are big groups transferring freaking factions and servers and stuff like it's not yeah it's not good for the community i think as a whole if you divide them like that right and i think that would be interesting because now like people won't uh pick anymore because of faction but they're gonna also pick because of race right so let's say you like a certain race and you really want to play that but your friends are in a different faction because there's a best in slot race for your spec like let's say for example orc beast mastery hunter or something like that right and you really really want to play as like let's say a knight elf warrior so you want to be a knight elf warrior but you want to play together with your friend that's a orc beast mastery hunter so what you can do now is you just make your freaking knight elf warrior and you can still play with your friend that plays the orc that's really good I'm pleased to announce that we are working to what on adding the ability for Alliance and Hot players to form pre-made parties together for dungeons, raids and rated PvP. Ooh, that's interesting. There have been two decades worth of code and content crafted with assumptions that parties can only have players of a single faction. And while we want to make this feature available as soon as possible, the extent of the change means that it couldn't be ready in time for the upcoming Eternity's End content update. That makes sense because they need to rewrite a lot of code, right? Instead, we are planning to test and release it as a part of a subsequent Oh, we are getting a 9.2.5 update. We are eager to hear feedback about the details we are sharing today on the details of our implementation when this feature becomes available to the public test run following the release of Eternity's End. Like guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I actually think that's a nice change. I also had, had hoped for um, cross-faction because I have friends in both factions and I don't always want to level a new character just so I can play with someone like I really enjoy the leveling experience it's like really fun to grind out a character on live stream for example but I would prefer to have like my my most played characters and just make groups with them instead of grinding gear again on each new character that I make or something I mean now I have a pretty good uh, hot character as well that's like uh yeah, soon at item level 230, I'm like grinding up right now and stuff. So we can do like higher keys on that one as well. But yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a nice change. And by the way, guys, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. And what does it say here? In crafting the rule set for this new feature, we were guided by two goals. Okay, so, so what are those two goals? Focus on organized instanced gameplay. Dungeons, raids and rated PvP have been at the center of the most compelling arguments for relaxing the faction divide. This is content that by definition requires a pre-made group. Exactly. And thus social barriers will have the greatest negative impact on people's ability to access these experiences on their preferred terms. Make this an opt-in feature as much as possible. In terms of in-world fiction and player preferences, there are decades of animosity to overcome. While we are excited to offer players the choice to reach across the faction divide and cooperate to overcome common foes, we know that there are many who will react warily to this change and we don't want to override those preferences. 
Yeah, I think there are some hardcore RPers that are really into faction uh, divide or something. Yeah. <laughs> this is about increasing options for players. Yeah. So, so they are saying there's still some sort of conflict, so it won't completely solve the, the faction conflict or what. So we're getting like a half cross faction basically, like a hybrid or something. <laughs> These guidelines led us to the following system. Players will be able to directly invite members of the opposite faction to a party if you have a battle tech or real ID friendship or if you are members of cross faction WoW community. Okay, I actually don't like that. Wait, let, so so that means, like, I will read further to see if there's, like, a, maybe an answer for this. But so far, it seems like you have to know the people from real life or, or something to make groups for them. But let's see, what, what does it say here? Pre-made groups in the group finder listings uh, for Mythic Dungeons Raids and Rated Arena RBGs will be open to applicants of both factions. Okay, there it is. So I don't need to worry. So I guess you can still use group finder uh, cross faction, right? Through the group leader may choose to restrict the listening to same faction applicants if they so choose. Oh, that's actually really great. So you can manually uh, say cross faction or same faction. That's really good because this gives the hardcore RPers that don't want like freaking cross faction <laughs> the option to stay RP mode, right? Okay, that's that's nice. Guilds will remain single faction. Okay, I don't like this. I wish we could actually have cross faction guilds. Because that would be so interesting. Like, imagine there was like a guild called Ox and Humans or something. <laughs> like, I can think of some crazy names or... Yeah. <laughs> and random match made activities like heroic dungeons, skirmishes and red and battlegrounds will all remain same faction. <sighs> Why random battlegrounds same faction? Why? Both because there is less faction driven pressure around random groups and to avoid compromising the opt in nature of feature by randomly placing a queuing orc in a group with a knight. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with like an orc and a knight elf together? Hey, that's 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 fine. I think it's totally fine. Like let's all be friends, right? Once in a party together, members of the, of the opposite faction will remain unfriendly while in the out Wait, in the outdoor world. And fully hostile in war mode as they do today. Though they will be able to communicate through party chat. Upon entering a dungeon raid or raid PvP match, however, all members will be friendly and able to assist each other in combat trade. Wait a moment. Can we now chat with the opposite faction? Because I have one issue these days. So I'm I'm farming for the Hulking, uh, was it Death Rock or what it's called, like the the purple undead thingy that you get from the Violet Mistake in Madraxus, where you mix like those oils together and you eat like a 50-50 of the the red slime and the blue slime, right? Like there can be a little bit of yellow in between, no problem. And I I'm sometimes having the issue if I grind, for example, on an alliance character for it, I get like one or two hot players that constantly throw in something different. Like either they throw in too much red or they throw in like five yellows, and I can't get like the 50-50 mix. And sometimes we need two, three attempts to summon the freakly uh, the freaking slime for the for the mount, right? So. It would be nice if I could tell those players, hey, we are doing this and this for a cool mount. You can also join us and try to get it or something, whatever. Like, it would be nice if we can do this now. So, so it's like easier to grind for certain things. And you know what's also cool here? Like you can now go, uh, those of you that want the time loss proto drake. I also made a guide on this channel how to get the time loss proto drake uh, more quickly. So you can check it out. It's on the channel. And if you want now the time loss proto drake, you can make now a group with uh, like your competition. So if you see like let's say you are on Horde and you see Alliance players uh, farm for the for the time loss proto drake, now you can make a group with them, right? And you can get together the drop, I believe, right? In the outside world or not. Like I'm not sure what this means, right? Like, does that mean we can not make groups in the outdoor world, or can we actually and and farm like rare mounts and and bosses, world bosses together? Because that would be interesting if you could do that. That would make it so much easier for some uh, groups to actually get the time loss proto Drake. Because I I I've like been hopping realms a lot for it, and I often saw from the opposite faction players also parking and camping their characters at at spawn spawn points. So if you can uh, group up for rare mounts, that would be so sick. 
Upon entering a dungeon raid or rated PvP match, uh -huh. we already had that. Uh, you earn shared achievements and otherwise fully cooperate the same way members of the same faction always have been able to. A major goal in announcing this feature is advance is to make sure we are capturing all the expectations and requirements to this to be a smooth experience. A group raiding doing mythic plus keys or chasing high PvP ratings should be able to operate seamlessly whether they are same faction or cross faction group and this has been a problem for a while if you check radar.io and you're checking for like the m plus scores like the highest keys done it's most of the time hot 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 it's always hot right and you barely see alliance up there and now like some of the alliance players that have like really good gear are like 250 plus uh, item level and stuff now they have the chance to go for higher keys as well with hot players so you're gonna see a lot of uh, cross-faction leaderboards. That is really nice. This functionality will also apply to legacy instances and is available at all levels. Though there will be several older instances that cross-faction parties cannot enter, at least for now. Battle of Dazalor, Trial of the Crusader, Ice Crown Citadel, remember that gunship battle and a handful of others that are similarly have extensive faction specific components that will have to be reworked to support cross faction parties wait so they are rewriting some of the stories now does does that mean this so at ice crown citadel they will remove the gunship battle and and, and maybe like the gunship will be now changed to a cross faction gunship and the other one will be like a Maybe a Scourge gunship or something. Yo, they could do that. They could con convert one into a Scourge one and one is like a cross-faction one. Maybe like some sort of go uh, goblin ship or something, right? They're likely those who have read this far with some unease. Worried that this is chipping away at a foundational principle of Warcraft. At BlizzCon in 2019, when an attendee asked about cross-faction play, we responded at the time that Alliance and Horde separation is... The pillar of what makes Warcraft Warcraft. But upon reflection, that's an oversimplification. Alliance and Horde identity is what is fundamental to Warcraft. And while at times that identity has been one of division open conflict, we've seen Alliance and Horde finding common ground and working together ever since Warcraft 3. And that's true. Like we see this with the Shadowlands now. And like we are all coming together to actually save the world basically and there have been also like other like look at legion for example there was also a time of peace in legion right like horde and alliance working together so yeah notably including the last time a warcraft chapter was named eternity's end and the instances of cooperation in world of warcraft itself are too numerous to count yeah like the ones we just said we are hopeful that these changes will serve to actually strengthen faction identity by allowing more players to play the faction whose values aesthetic and characters they find more compelling thank you blizzard thank you that's exactly what i said if someone loves freaking night elves and want to play a night elf warrior but their friends want to play freaking orc beast mastery hunters or something now they have the chance to actually freaking go for whatever they like or they can play now a warden together with a forsaken or something even though they are like freaking enemies low wise <laughs> most of the time but that would be cool like having a forsaken rogue team up with like maybe a warden druid or something. <laughs> Rather than feeling forced to choose between their personal preferences and the ability to play with friends. Following the events of Battle for Azeroth, the Alliance and Hot are poised in an uneasy armistice. The factions still stand apart and even some of their leaders cooperate in the Shadowlands. Countless members of each faction will neither forgive nor forget the wartime actions of other. For every Jaina, there is a Gen, and that seems unlikely to change anytime soon. Yeah, he's upset because he freaking lost his son because of Sylvanas. Like, yeah, that makes sense. But why shouldn't players be able to make that choice for themselves, especially in cooperative settings where the story revolves around coming together to overcome dire threats? We look forward to hearing your thoughts and feedback on this feature both now and once it arrives for testing on the 9.2.5 PTR. We will see you in Azeroth. I'm actually really happy about it. But one thing also makes me wonder, can you now enter other cities? Because I feel like Stormwind is going to lag like crazy now. Because if, if you can go to like other capital cities, like I think Stormwind so far is like one of the most uh, popular 
capital cities and it's also like closely followed by ironforge i know like a lot of people also love ironforge because they think it's like so cool they get like freaking lord of the rings wipes there and the hobbit wipes and stuff so i get why ironforge is popular and and stormwind of course like this medieval bright beautiful city with like so many nice parks and then freaking rivers and stuff like i see why people would want to hang out there now <laughs> But imagine like everyone freaking moves from Orgrimmar to freaking Stormwind to hang out. Like maybe this will make the servers lag or something. <laughs> I mean you're gonna be phased into different uh, phases and stuff. But yeah, still, it would be funny to see like all the, the hot players chilling in Stormwind City now. But maybe it won't change that and the guards will still be hostile there in freaking Stormwind. But hey, let's see. Imagine like all the humans rushing to Orgrimmar because they want to see something new. <laughs> Especially those people that just played one faction their whole life. Like, I'm actually wondering how those changes will affect players that never changed factions or never made a character on the other one. Like, I wonder how they will feel now, because they get, like, to experience a whole new world now. Because I know there are some uh, one faction Andys out there and they just play one faction their whole life. So I wonder how they feel. Like, maybe they're the ones that actually dislike this. <laughs> But I, for, for once, like, I don't have to worry about grinding up a new Warlock or Death Knight on the Horde side now. Because on the Horde side, I only have, like, a maxed Hunter. And on Alliance, I have, like, multiple characters that I max and got to Renown 80 and all that kind of stuff. So this will be interesting for me, because I no longer need to have double characters, like, the same class uh, on two factions. Like, I can make now one character, one class, yeah? That's cool. So yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content and let me know in the comment section what you think about cross faction. Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? And if you love it or hate it, please let me know why you love or hate it. And I would really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. And I wish everyone a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time.